as the cold night goes on a wonderful night we look back on another wonderful wonderful game of a simple vampire hunter and his family's legacy to hunt down the evil Dracula oh Castlevania how how have I never actually sat down and tried to finish you I should do that one of these days tonight will not be that night because again I'm trying to do uh, again, this is going to be another 30 minutes of Castlevania. Because after Battletoads, I need... I need something. It's not as... I nearly said not as rage-inducing. No, Castlevania can't be rage-inducing! Oh god, Medusa heads. Oh god, dog. Um... I... I what was my first time playing a Castlevania game? Oh, God, that's actually, that's actually a question. It might be, well, anything that's like of the early Castlevanias is probably what I played. Um, at the Boys and Girls Club I used to go to years ago. Like, I'm talking eight. 2008, 2009, right around that, I, trying to think, we, I was not, well, I, it wasn't suspended, but it was like something of that, I don't even remember what the cause was anymore, but like, um, one of the things is that I couldn't be left alone in the house, you're not gonna leave uh, an eight, a nine, ten year old <laughs> alone at home. So they still had to take me to the offices, and that's how I kind of learned about the whole. And in the back room, which they had set up for me to kind of keep me busy, was a. I know I've told this story before. I've told this story because um, so many times, but I don't remember how many times anymore. But I know there's a. But what it was, it was an NES, and they had set this NES up. It wasn't top loader. It was the old box. Because I, uh, I even though those top loaders are supposed to be, you know, the new, they were supposed to be the new, you know, budget family thing. No, the first NES is classic. But anyway, um, I went. I watched, uh, I, while they were, I can't speak, while my mom worked in the back office, I played NES games. Um, one of them was Dr. Mario. One of them was Super Mario Brothers 3. Another, I, re I remember this because I kept finding, I kept finding in this back room like NES cards. Eventually, they found out, eventually the lady, as we found out, hated me, found out about this, sold the NES and its games for that because they were like, no. They found that out on like day two. She found that out on day two, and on like day three, she sold it. Uh, so for two days, I just sat around doing nothing because they sold. They they. They she did not like me. She did not want me to be. She she pretty much said like it pretty much acted like she did not care. All she cared about, and this is, you do not want to be like this for the Boys and Girls Club. It felt like she was only there for a paycheck. But anyway, um, I shouldn't be insulting people because that's defamation. So, let's go back. But over the time, I was playing this NES. And this NES, which, I, 
I guess you could say is one of the first NES consoles I've ever played. Um, it, and people, and, and I get, I, I, and I guess it is because I remember this NES car, like this NES giving me, you know, Dude, the thing had like Dr. Mario, Super Mario Brothers 3, I found, you know, one of the cars I found was the original Castlevania. No! Ah, uh, that was my fault. That was so my fault. Was, it was Castlevania. And I, I, it was this level in particular. I hated this level. Because again, like, day two, but I was a finicky kid. Like, I, I was a finicky kid. I, like, I wanted to play everything. So in two days, that thing kept me company. Like that, like, I loved... I loved. Ah! <laughs> God dang it. Yeah, that was my fault. But, um, it was cat. And apparently, like, I had found like six carts. There were 25. Uh, my aunt was the boss of the like the leader of the uh, head of the boys and girls club there and she said like yeah it when she got back she was the one who told me they he, she had sold it because she it was said that it was said that why do we have these these are worth so much money we could sell these get money for the club my aunt because she wanted my aunt, I think she wanted my aunt's position. And my aunt and my was showing favoritism. She was uh, anyway. But one of the games I was playing. Let's get back. Let's try not. I'm doing it again. I'm trying to focus on that story. No. Um. I, I've I've got like making years of stories to tell already. Um. One of the big things I loved about about Castlevania and the games that I played on that NES was the fact that I had the original Super Mario Brothers on my GBA. I, I like I I had a GBA SP at this time, and all I had was a video cart of Jimmy Neutron and Super Mario Brothers. And I used to play the heck out of this, uh, out of the, um, to my brother's cart. Barely works anymore. <laughs> no. Oh, God. The go. Oh, God. Bone pillars. There we go. Um, but I, I guess I really love the style of them. Again, now having emulators and being able to play all the games I used to play, hey, <laughs> it should be it should be like you you should remember. I, I'm it should be like you should remember how to play these games. I haven't played these games in a decade. Like that, and there are many games I've wanted to play, which thanks to Mr. Freezing Inferno, uh, and thanks to so many other people showing me. No, no, oh God! There we go. Oh boy! Yes, yes. Extra life. Oh, God. 
Holy crap! Am I already... Yeah. Yeah, that's another story for another day. But what I really like about Castlevania and all of them is they have this feel that some newer games don't have. And um, I was a kid, and I, I, I still am, I love using my imagination. I love, I used to come up with these freaking weird stories. Um, I was a kid who loved, I can't believe I'm saying this. I was a kid who loved crossover episodes. So if it was like, oh, no crow. So if it was like, oh, so if it was, I, I just really love the fact of how you could take two series, mash them together and see how they worked. I was, so my story, I would have these fantastical stories of like, it was always, it was always Link because at the, because by this point, um, when I started m making the bulk of them, by this point I had a Zelda game. One Zelda game. The... Oh, I, s I know I should still have it. I know I should still have it with me. Oh, I'm trying to... I'm literally trying not to get up to go look because I, I need to have my memory. Wind Waker. By this point, I had Wind Waker because I had my GameCube. And so my very first Zelda was Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And I loved Wind Waker. Wind Waker, I mean, like, of course there was, like, some of the things... Down we go. <sighs> course. Of course. No! Medusa heads. I hate these freaking Medusa heads. Well, I'm about to game over. And it's fine. It's Castlevania. But I, I, I guess the thing is, is that the story of the day is that I guess the moral of the story today is, is that, I, I guess the moral of today's story is to just play, it's to just play, explore, think, discover, heck, if it wasn't for me, I can't believe I'm going to say this, if it wasn't for me getting in trouble, I would have never found out about the NES, I would have never found out about the, because if it wasn't for me, I th remember by this point, I was a kid who, I was a kid who was playing, you know, Super Mario Brothers and not these, not this Xbox and, and, and everybody was talking about. I was, I was, I think what kind of led me down the path was the day I found that NES shoved in the back corner of of the room it was the day I it was the day I found that NES shoved in the back corner forgotten Ah, oh, dang it! Yeah, no. So, we pause it there. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry that it wasn't as entertaining for you and me ranting for about 15 minutes. But, 
Castlevania, what can you say? The original vampire, the original game that set, that would eventually lead us into learning about the Belmonts and their internal struggle with literally one of the one of the most hated vampires of all time. I say most hated because some people would jump to the fence of vampires. But let's not talk about Twilight just yet. Goodbye, everybody! <laughs>